All right, I should be live here with the Colorado Rockies franchise on MLB The Show 21. We're playing some spring training games today in Season 3. We made a lot of big moves this offseason. I'm really excited about it. We're almost to year three, but today we'll see the debuts of Luis Severino, Trey Turner, Taylor Rogers, the new closer, and also Alex Colome, Ty France, Brandon Nimmo. Should be a pretty fun time. This team looks like it's a lot better, and we're about to find out. A little bit about these new players, so if you want to skip anywhere in the video, you can use the scroll bar down below. I'll put in timestamps for when the game starts, and you can go from there. Stopped watching the real Rockies for this. I haven't been watching too much uh, baseball lately. Like I'm just kind of into playoff mode now. When I moved and I stopped playing fantasy baseball every day and uh, had to set aside less time for that kind of stuff. Just kind of fell out of the regular season. I'm ready for the playoffs now. Pause the Vikings video to come here. Yeah, I put out... Man, I'm doing a Vikings rebuild right now on the second channel. It's not going to be like long episode-wise, but... After Sunday, I kind of needed that. Love it, Nyris. Glad you could make it. I'm sorry to hear that, Dakota, but hopefully the rest of your day goes well. Weekend's approaching. Hopefully something positive there. What's the plan for my fifth starter? So, what I think happened is that getting Severino kind of kicked out Derek Rodriguez. So the fifth starter right now is going to be John Gray or maybe Gomber or Derek Rodriguez. Outside chance of Toussaint. Still want to work on his walk per nine rating. So it's kind of a competition here, but for now it's John Gray, the veteran who has put up some solid seasons. You know, I don't know what to project yet for the Rockies. I'm not quite sure yet. I think that we can be a lot better. I think we can be a 500 team, but I also think we could be better than that. I'm just really cautious about making that the expectation. But uh, yeah, I think this team is a lot better. And we've been over, you know, the improvements here. And I think I set up the lineups. Not all of them. So... Let me set these up and we'll play. What's going on, Rashad? Glad you can make it. Do I like the Super Mega Baseball 3 series? I love that game. I probably won't be live until the football game, Kendrick. But probably two hours at least. Maybe a little bit more. I already got my video up on the second channel today. So I don't have anything to do there for today's content. Trying to reorganize my days a little bit to make it easier, especially with all these long videos I've been making. Definitely, Mark. It was a fun episode to put together yesterday, and the feedback that I've gotten suggests that uh, a lot of people are really excited about that. So let me set this new lineup up. Just going to take me a minute here. I need Rymel in right. I need Trey in center. I need Nimmo at left field. Because he doesn't have the arm that Tapia does. They don't have great arms, but Tapia's is better. And then here, third base is going to be, obviously, uh, McMahon to start out. Second base, I have as, uh, looks like Hampson for now. But yeah, a lot of this is still pending, I guess.
Let me get my lefty lineup set. Let's go, Deconator. Perfect timing. We'll try Bubba Starling in center or something. I'm sure we'll find a time to play with those other players. I would imagine, Nyris, certain pitchers would be very hesitant to go there if they're earlier in their career. I think later in your career, there'd be less of a concern. But for sure, like, is signing a free agent deal as a pitcher with the Rockies always good? But, like, if it's big money, it's big money, and it's guaranteed either way. So if they're offering big money, then how do you say no? I don't know. I bet there's got to be some data on it or something, but in general, yeah, it's... uh. It's a tough environment to try and be a high-level pitcher, that's for sure. Alrighty, so for lefties now, Nimmo doesn't hit lefties well enough to, like, force him to start every day. I actually think it wouldn't be a bad idea to play Daza against lefties unless somebody really stands out because Daza has more contact, although it's only marginal. But let's have Daza there for now. Kind of rotate out there and lefties only pop up every now and then anyway. So... Let's go Santana here. We have a lot of uh, key lefties in this lineup that I've put together. What have I done here? Trey in center, Rymel in right. I need Daza in left, and then DH can be whoever. I think the farm system's decent. It wasn't all that strong to start out with, but it has gotten a lot better in this series. We are going to see David Geronimo, by the way. It is going to happen. And I, I'm just setting a lineup right now for, like, the simmed games, but when I'm actually playing these spring training games, I'm going to do a lot of different stuff with the lineups. So I'm just setting kind of the default right now. I might even go France between Javi and McMahon. I don't know yet about our lefty lineup. I have to see us actually play some of these first. And then for center, I need Trey... We could even try out this look here. This is left field, so I want Daza. And then second, I'll go Hampson. That works for me. All right. Sorry that took a while. I should have already had that set up, but I forgot about it. Let's play some spring training after I save in case it were to crash. And I don't want to do that again. So we could afford Tapia after we let Charlie Blackman go in that trade. So we ended up uh, trading him to Seattle for the Thai France uh, deal. And yeah, that's basically it. We traded him and that salary for Thai France. And we're in a much better situation now financially. All right, Luis Severino is going to start it off here. And we will pinch hit, obviously, at some point for uh, Geronimo.
Was it arbitration or free agency? Um, the Rymel deal? He ended up declining our offer and took the arbitration deal. So then we had to trade Charlie to make it fit. All right, Luis Severino. So his fastball is going to be his top pitch. It has 99 control. And on one pitch, he gets one out. Interesting, but Toppy at this point is a lot better player, so I uh, didn't have uh, too much of an issue there picking Rymel. It just... I didn't want to have to have Charlie leave like that. I know he's like a fan favorite with the Rockies and he's been there for a long time. But it was the only way to make it fit. Now this Diamondbacks lineup they put together in this series has become pretty outrageous. They've added Whit Merrifield this year. That's a ridiculous call. They uh, obviously have Carlos Correa, Cattell Marte. And we'll go through the rest of it today, but they have made this division even deeper with their ascension in a short time. On the ground. No problem. But do I think it's time for Minnesota to move on from Kirk Cousins? I don't really see them putting together a championship team with... Uh, cousins and everything they have going on like he's just making too much they don't have enough great players on young rookie contracts i think to have a winning super bowl caliber team with cousins and if he's going to have these high cap numbers you need to offset it with more cheap young players and they don't have that anymore so and i also think you know cousins is he's in that tier of quarterbacks almost by himself where it's like he's not really a franchise quarterback as far as like you know a top 10 guy but he'll give you top 10 performances coupled with a bunch of weaker performances but this year he's been great in two games he's played well enough for the vikings to be 2-0 but the defense hasn't and obviously the kick at the end of the game last week kind of you know ruined that too I'm going to make the face cam a little bit smaller here. This is the best place for it to be, though, when I play baseball. And yes, beating the best teams with Cousins has always been difficult. He lights up average and weaker teams on a routine basis. First at bat here with Trey Turner. Ah, it's going well, Mac. We are in the first inning of the first game, so you have not missed much. Ooh. That's a cool story, RJ. I didn't know that. How would I rate Cousins' time in Minnesota? I mean, it's kind of, I'd rate it Kirk Cousins out of 10, you know, very, like, 500-ish. The record is very similar to that, and it's just kind of been average time. Trey Turner rips it over to third base. That one pretty hardly hit, but he is retired. Now, I... I think we have the same schedule every year in spring training or something because I feel like we always end up facing Zach Gallen in these streams. I don't hit him well at all. Now we'll see if Rymel Tapia plays as well as he did last year to stay one of the top of the order hitters. Has more competition now with Trey and Nimmo. We'll see. Oh, 
Yes, I'll have an episode of Practice Squad coming soon. I obviously had one out yesterday. I would imagine it'll be out on Saturday. I am putting together a Rule 5 rebuild video right now. I just recorded it, or I recorded half of it because for half of the video, my mic was on mute. So I have a little bit of editing and post commentary to put together for that one, but it's not a big deal. And then Rule 5 is going to be kind of the next thing. The left fielder, Brandon All right. We add the lefty Brandon Nimmo because we want somebody who can get on base. He has the highest plate discipline on the team. Five war player last season. High contact, 92 against righties. Struggles a bit against lefties, but we'll live with that. And I always struggle against Zach Allen, so here we are in the hole 0-2. Kirk Cousins out of 10 is my new favorite description for average. It's just too accurate. Oh, yeah, I'm watching Thursday night football tonight. I don't miss primetime games very often. Maybe a few a year. Ah. Definitely not this early in the season, though. I mean, I'm still excited about any matchup I can watch, really. I know it's not a marquee matchup, but I haven't been able to watch the Panthers much this season, and Game Pass is still messed up, and there's no coach's film or anything, no player finder, can't skip to certain plays. So I'm not watching games on Game Pass, just kind of looking at PFF info and stats and other recaps. But I want to see how Darnold plays in that offense. And I love the Panthers team as a whole. I think they've done a really good job the last two years drafting. And two years from now, I think that's going to be the team to beat in the NFC South. Or it's going to be a team to beat there if the Bucks can stay where they are. But I think that two years from now, Panthers are no worse than second best team in that division. And... Uh, Unless this Darnold signing really goes haywire, they should be a playoff caliber team to me. I love uh, the playmakers on offense. I like Brian Burns on defense, Jeremy Chin, uh, J.C. Horn, Dante Jackson. They got some players there, Derek Brown. I'm just not sure about Darnold, and I'm not sure about the offensive line. But those two things could be bad enough to just keep them at, like, 7 and 10 or something. Shut up, Mike. When they have 99 plate discipline and I hit the button, maybe they'll override my decision. How's it going? Man, Gallon is intent on making this the longest first inning of my life. I feel like I've been here for an hour. 3 and 0, oh, 2 on, 2 down. I'm swinging here just because I'm bored at this point. Ooh, wow. Wow, wow. Hope Atlanta can play better against the Giants this weekend. I would expect that to be a closer game. I don't think that any team is all that much better. Although I think the... The Giants just plethora of playmakers can overwhelm Atlanta. Really ahead of these pitches. 3-2 yet again. See ya. Are the Vikings beating Seattle Sunday? I'll believe it when I see it. The first baseman. Lewis, I don't really watch a lot of NBA, and I wouldn't have any predictions. I watch it here and there, but I, I don't follow it very closely. Can we get to 40 in this inning, you think? We should only see three innings with him anyway, because it's the first week of spring training. He's not throwing me anything I want to swing at, which I guess is, you know, to his credit as a starting pitcher... But he's also missing a lot. 
I'm not usually this patient, but I have played the game today already, so I am a little bit warmed up, I feel. Um, where does it show balls and strikes to this point for him? 42% strike percentage. So I've actually been super patient in this inning. No, I don't want that. Two and two. I've also hit a lot of fouls. All right, try it again. Ooh, this time the circle change. That was a long first inning. Give him a rest after that one. To tell Marte, we almost considered signing him, but I didn't really want to part ways with the second round pick it would have taken. Not until we prove that we've taken that next step in the rebuild. I don't want the second round pick to go away. Right over the middle. Base hit Marte. Now I'm also looking at some PS2 games to bring to the channel. I uh, have the emulator going here and I've been playing the games in uh, 4K, checking them out a little bit. And uh, I'm just adding more now that I have this functional emulator and I can make the games look better and it's a lot of fun. So I picked up a few more games today. I've only played this game like once or twice. It was like back when it came out, so like 15 years ago. We got MVP Baseball 06 on the PS2. Man, not feeling that 99 control right now. Uh, Lewis, PCSX2, that's the popular one. I don't even know of any others for the PlayStation, but PCSX2 for me. Madden 08, I do have it on PS2. I have 05. Oh, I could have tried to go for a triple play. I wouldn't have gotten it, but I could have tried. I have 04, 05, nice. And 08 on the PS2. I also have 06, but my disc needs to be resurfaced. Wasn't there a college baseball game that came out? Yeah, this one. This one, Mike. Any advice for sound stutter? I haven't had that on my end. I've had some rendering issues on certain games. But uh, I haven't had any sound problems. I just check out some setup guides and see if anybody talks about their uh, audio settings. If there's a certain like audio bit rate or something that you have to work on. You should get Arena Football. I got them both. Got to get NFL Blitz. I have NFL Blitz 2002, I think. Excuse me, can I get to my desk? Can I get to my desk, please? I think I have it within arm's reach. I'll be there in a second. Okay, I don't know which one I have. I, I got too many games to go through over here. We got... Uh, NBA Street Volume 2. I got NFL Street 1 and 3. I don't yet have 2, but NFL Street is the next one I kind of want to revisit maybe this weekend. 2020 gaming laptop with an i7. 
you should be able to run it fine. Like, if you're running games at 60 frames and you're seeing the 100% in the corner and it's not lagging or having any uh, issues running, maybe there's a driver setting or something weird. Like, I'm not a big computer guy. This is part of why I'm a console gamer. I just like being able to put in games and play, but if I want to play these PS2 games in 4K or 1440 and widescreen, got to be creative. Didn't hear any of that? Oh, yeah. I bet this isn't picking me up that well when I'm two feet away. Ooh. That wasn't all I picked up. This isn't for content. Actually, that was the only game I picked up potentially for content today, now that I think about it. This is just because I like the game. Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition Remix? Played that game a lot, uh, many summers ago. Spent a, a summer playing that, and, uh, oh, what else was I playing? Probably the old Ratchet and Clank's. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2 on the PS2 against the AI. I haven't been able to find those old Need for Speed games. I also don't know if I really looked. Because there were so many games that I've been looking for. I don't think I really looked for Need for Speed when I was last at a uh, game store. I never played Underground 2, but that was always the one people talked about as kind of being the pinnacle of that era for like customization and everything. That was when Need for Speed was kind of at its peak reputation wise. Uh, I used the discs for mine, Lewis. I had to, uh... My PC doesn't actually have a drive, but you can buy, like, a, a separate drive. USB drive. And then, uh, put the discs in there. I just keep it in my desk. Come on, Trey. I remember playing Hot Pursuit 2. That was my favorite Need for Speed game. But I have so many, like, this one, like, this is just the pure nostalgia bug getting to me. I have a lot of modern ones I have to play. Man, I hate playing Zach Gallen so much. Like, uh, I, I really like the Forza Horizon games. Yet, I've only finished one of them. I got partway through two, partway through three. Never even bothered getting four because I hadn't even played the first, like, the previous two enough. And I think it's on Game Pass anyway, so I don't even need to buy it. I can just pay for Game Pass when I feel like playing it. I want to play 5 when it comes out. I I'm definitely going to do some content on 5, at least a little bit when it's fresh. Trade for Gallon, then you don't have to face him. See, that's the kind of strategy we need to implement here, I think. Diving play, knockdown McMahon... And the throw is in time! Wow. Gran Turismo 4 came out in 2005. Could run a native 1080. Really? In 2005, they had it set up running... What Was it in widescreen too? 1080? That is... Like... Really impressive. That's late later in the console's life cycle and by then they put out some pretty good games that were optimized anybody ever play the game black it was an ea published game it was a shooter it was on xbox and playstation 2 that game had some impressive visuals for the ps2 
There, there's a game that I wish got a sequel. Never did, though. Most OP player in CPU, CPU Madden? As soon as I read that, Zackler, I thought Zeke. Because you can't do a long-term sim without him being the next Walter Payton, Barry Sanders. He's always running for like eight yards a carry. Not really Hunter. I like doing what I do here and having the freedom to do whatever I want with content. Well, it's funny you ask that because Bunny, because where do I find the time to play these games? I really haven't been very much. Nice strike out there. I should have some more downtime as we get uh, into the, the fall more here. There's still been some running around I've had to do getting into the new place and just different things I have to take care of there. Wow, I thought that was going to the gap. So... I've had enough time to get content up, and that's about it. And now football season? I mean, that gets my attention. So, we'll see when I have some time to play more of these games. My nostalgia right now wants me to play any of the following. Ape Escape. Rugrats, Search for Reptar, Burnout Paradise, or Dino Crisis. Well, Paradise is a classic, and that's been remastered. Drilled to center, man. We can't get on base against Gallon. Um, Rugrats, Search for Reptar, that might be the one that I played. And I got back in 1999. Let me see. Oh, that's it. That's it. Yep, 20 years ago. Wow. I remember playing the, uh, the mini golf in that one. They had a bunch of little mini games in there. <clears throat> How many wins am I projecting? I think I'm projecting about 85. I am really confident in this team overall. As long as we're not facing Zach Gallon very much, we should be fine. Yeah, there was a Rugrats in Paris game. Yeah. I, I, I played that one too. I can't remember if that was PS1 or PS2, but I did have that one as well. I never played Ape Escape other than like a demo disc. Um... What else do you say? Burnout Paradise. I never played Dino Crisis. I think I could recognize the, tight, uh, the cover if I saw it. Paradise has been remastered, obviously, on Switch, Xbox, probably PC. It's also on sale a lot. I wouldn't buy Burnout Paradise remastered full price at like 30 bucks or whatever. I've seen it on sale quite often. Sly Cooper 1, 2, and 3. I have two of the Sly Coopers on PS3. I think they were like PS Plus games or something. That or I felt like buying them on a sale like eight years ago and I can't remember. Sly Cooper wasn't really a series I got into much. That was back when the, the platformers were pretty common and popular. And, uh, you know, Sony had Jack and Daxter, Ratchet and Clank, um, all sorts of them. Spyro. I, I played Ratchet and Clank. That was, like, the one that I picked and uh, loved. I'll give Sevi uh, four innings here. I never played Time Splitters 2. No. I think that's going to be one I have to pick up. Because I've been watching, like, a lot of PS2 videos, too. Like, okay, what else is out there? What have I missed? Because I used to not play a lot of variety. Like, the PS4 is when I started to, like, branch out. And I'm like, alright, I want to play games like Assassin's Creed. Because those weren't my kind of games before. And I, I just tried playing everything. 
JRPGs. And so now I'm really interested in about every game other than like fighting games. I like Smash, but I've never gotten into fighting games. I like uh, the old wrestling games too. Here comes the Pains, a classic. Ooh, Severino dealing. Up next to the diamond now, the first baseman, Christine. See, I've never consumed anything for Lord of the Rings or like Star Wars. So those games obviously are not games, but those franchises have a lot of games. Star Wars has a lot of PS2 games, by the way, a ton of them. But I kind of missed out on getting into those. It's never too late, but 29 years old and it still hasn't happened. Or Marvel, right. I still haven't played God of War 2018. I, I will be playing that. I have uh, a few games that are a priority for me to get to. And uh, God of War is one of them. Oh, I was at the store the other day. I pointed out a game. Told my wife I wanted it. Well, I got it now. Can't wait to play this eventually. Final Fantasy VII Remake. Got a couple games I got to get through first. Yeah, God of War looked fantastic. I've played God of War 3. I didn't beat it, but it wasn't my type of game. But uh, I want to play the new one. I did not play the original, despite Blackjack's many requests and me seeing it constantly on sale for under $10. But I watched Blackjack stream it when it was new. I'm like, dude, this game looks incredible. It's one of the most impressive remakes I think I've seen. Especially because I know what Final Fantasy VII looks like. And the remake just... It looks like an unbelievable game. Man. Hey, it's Luke Weaver now. I have no excuse. I can hit Luke Weaver. I think I have uh, Toussaint getting warm, by the way. Yeah, I know the new God of War is completely different. And that's what has me uh, more interested to play it. Let's get Gomber warm, too. I really want to test out these fifth starter competition guys. Um, so I also picked up this today. It was not as expensive as I thought it would be. Got a... Uh, SSX on tour. Always thought that game had some of the best box art. Like, I think the box art on here is really, really nice. Probably also have to get a couple other SSX games, but I'll, I'll have this one for now. Best hitting stance for newcomers, Nimmo, Turner, or France? Uh, I think Nimmo. But I also just tend to see everything better with lefties, so a little bias there. Skate 3, that's the game to play. I have Skate 3. I have it somewhere within reach, too. It's somewhere in my desk. But uh, I love that game. There's a new fe feature. Kawaii, thank you for becoming a member for the third consecutive month. It definitely doesn't have... Uh, I don't know if that's your total... Happy to see you pop in here. I think you have like perfect attendance on streams in like the last couple of months. You're always around. Prince of Persia, Sands of Time. See, there's another game I never really got into. There are a few franchises I just kind of missed out on in that era. Resident Evil. My first Resident Evil was Resident Evil 5. I missed out on games like Soul Calibur, Prince of Persia. Uh, we talked about Time Splitters already. Um, I mean, Shadow of the Colossus. There's so many good games out there that I, I just didn't play because I was playing Madden 05 and Ratchet and Clank, Going Commando, and SOCOM 3. So, 
put a lot of time into those games. Yeah, I don't want Severino in there. I'm kind of uh, losing track of things here. But uh, we don't need a complete game right now. Man, the NL East is, is wild. I, I feel like now it's the Braves. But I, I don't trust anything in that division anymore. Perfect attendance for the GOAT. You're the GOAT, Kawhi. You're always here. Appreciate the super chats and the membership. By the way, uh, member stream is Saturday. So every month I do a stream with the channel members. And this one happens to be this coming Saturday. And in those member streams, I tend to talk about uh, plans for the channel. What's coming up over the next month. I'll be getting some Rockies gameplay in there. Um, it's kind of a little behind the scenes conversation about the channels a bit. And it's smaller, so it's easier to get stuff uh, like answered and whatnot. So we always have a lot of fun in those. Maybe I could have gone to third base. But I'm about to strike out this next guy and we'll be fine. All right, Tucson. And even Nintendo Direct predictions. Man, I'm not in the business of predicting those because I'll just end up disappointed all the time. But what is the Direct coming up? Is it themed or is it just a general Direct? Is it like their holiday season Direct? Where they'll talk about the Pokemon games and whatnot? Man, Tucson is not locating that fastball so far. I think we have to try something else. First base is open. Ooh. How about Waluigi and Smash? That's my prediction. Oh, off of Toussaint. Ricochet and out. But a run scores. Ouch. They better finally announce Mario Kart. I would love that. I'm ready for a new Mario Kart. One that has a better online system and... Maybe a bit more to do and unlock and everything. Mario Kart 8's a great game, but it's like seven years old now. Toussaint's control just is not there. But we're going to end this inning here with the one run. I have fun with Mario Golf. I've had an okay time with Mario Golf. I think the gameplay is fun. I think they should introduce more of a hardcore mode that has uh, like no special shots and a true three-click system for the, for the accuracy on the swing. And uh, more courses, man. That game needs more content. Put in some par three courses. Put in the mini golf course. Flesh out the game a bit, bit more because it was not done. GTA 5 on the Switch. I don't think the Switch could handle it. It would look like uh, GTA 3 on PS2, I think, if they tried to port it. Well, you know, I shouldn't say that because games like Saints Row are on the Switch. Nunez hooked that one. It's deep. It's back and it's gone. Nunez interrupting us with a 362 foot blast. Nick Castellanos hit a nuke with a broken bat. I got to see that. Yeah, he's strong. I could see him pulling that off. Tuki is on a Robbie Ray arc at the moment. Once he starts hitting the strike zone, he'll win Cy Young. We, we need that Robbie Ray arc for sure. Also, Robbie Ray's K per 9 would be nice too. Do I start Tannehill or Fields this week? Uh, I mean, I'm probably going Tannehill. Who, who the Bears got? I don't know who anyone plays this week besides uh, the game today in the Vikings. So you got Fields against the Browns. No. I, I just think that's super risky. 
Tannehill gets the Colts. I just wouldn't be comfortable. I mean, Fields is going to get you some rushing yards. But I like the Browns' defense, and I know that offensive line, and they're about to have to block Miles Garrett. It's going to be a tough first start, I think. Your attention, please. Pink hitting for the Rockies. What was I talking about now before? Oh, yeah, Nintendo on GTA. I, I can't picture a GTA game on a Switch, but keep in mind, they have Saints Row, which has, you know, a lot of similar elements and stuff. And Saints Row plays pretty well on the Switch. I don't think they would port GTA. And I think the big reason is because Nintendo's online isn't very good, and if the GTA Online isn't that great, I don't think that they would see it as being worth their time. Who do I start, Golf or Hurts? I mean, Jalen Hurts has been fantastic ever since he became the starter last season. I don't know the matchups, but in most cases, I wouldn't even consider Golf over him. But we got David Geronimo's first spring training AB. I don't want to miss this one here. Three and two. Staying alive in the at-bat. Edited his stance just a little bit. Not the actual stance, just his hand placement. So the bat doesn't clip into his helmet anymore. Driven to left center. It's in the air. And it's playable. Wow. He did not get all of that. His pop-ups carry. That's really like lazy fly contact. It's going to the warning track. This guy is going to hit for serious power in the big leagues. I'm convinced. Too late. I think the lineup should start Tapia, Nimmo, Turner. Okay. Yeah, I haven't really decided on how it's going to go exactly. I know Trey bats lead off, or he did for the Nationals. I'm not even sure where he's batting for the Dodgers. I haven't been keeping up enough. I'm guessing he's not taking Mookie Betts' number one spot. Where are they batting Trey? I'm curious. Oh, that's hammered. Oh, that one's hit pretty well. Come on, get out of here. No! But the ball's carrying now. It's flying out. Switch could potentially handle a game like San Andreas or Vice City. Yeah. Modern day GTA is way too much for Switch. The map size, too. I know I said, like, Saints Row can ha does well in there. The map size, though, I think is huge. But it also plays The Witcher fairly well, from what I've heard. And The Witcher has a huge map. So, I don't know. We're just needing a Switch Pro really bad now. It's been almost five years since the Switch came out. Wow. Batting him both lead off in third. Wow. Wow. I guess if it were me, I'd have Trey lead off against lefties and not Betts. Because Betts doesn't hit lefties as well as he does righties. Which I find kind of surprising. But some guys are like that. The Witcher is okay on Switch. I have a friend who played through it. It's definitely playable. Definitely not the definitive edition, though, either. But it's about that point where Switch desperately needs, like, a, a Switch Pro. Switch OLED is so disappointing. It is, too. Like, the OLED would be so much, I think, would make more of a difference if they beefed up the, the specs. Uh, for those of you that have played Vita, that is an OLED screen. And 
I think the Vita makes good use of it. And I uh, don't know why they decided to keep the same specs but add OLED. Now, I will say their first party stuff, the colorful, vibrant Mario games are going to look really good on OLED. The, the colors you can get on an OLED screen are going to fit their first party stuff. So there is that. Man. Favorite bands, rappers, music you like. So I, I've been listening to a little bit of everything lately. I can't find the strike zone today with a few of these guys. <clears throat> Runner takes off here. Throw. Perf. Not perfect, but close. No. Um, one second. I got a phone call just now I got to take. Gave a run there on the phone. Wasn't the Vita a huge fail? I'm not sure if it was a huge fail, but... I don't think it was what they expected, especially the tail end of its life. But, uh... I, I guess I don't really have too many, like, artists that I listen to all the time. Um, I like, how many of you know Ares? I, I like a lot of his music. Um, man. Quinn, I, it's a Roman numeral that I don't remember. It's XC11. I, I don't know the numeral. But I like his music a lot. Um... We listen to a lot of classic rock. Got a little Prince little uh a little bit of everything a lot of those 80s songs and whatnot are all one-hit wonders anyway so <clears throat> two down here in the inning Couldn't stay too long today. Got to head to class. Hope you have a good stream, Kane. P.S. Hope my Browns give it to your Vikings week four. Give me a break, Kawhi. Appreciate it. Can we get a win one of these times? I mean, Seahawks and Browns coming up. It doesn't look good. We'll see. Eventually, the ball has to bounce their way. Appreciate the super chats and you hanging out. Man. Yeah, Tyrod... Hate to see him hurt. Especially with this opportunity he's got this year. And he was good in week one. And, uh... I hope that he can come back and play again this year. One second. I gotta check the door now, I guess. All right, we're good. Hopefully no more distractions. 
Your attention, please. Now pitching for Arizona, number 57, Taylor White. Yeah, the Bears got a gauntlet too. I just look at the Vikings' schedule, and I'm like, how is this it? Where's the break? Like, every week feels like they got a really difficult matchup. <clears throat> that one's drilled to center. Is this one going to carry? I don't think so, but it's back, and Nimmo does go yard. There's your solo home run. Dom Nunez hit one earlier. I will bookmark that. Is it uh, Eris? I'll check it out. <clears throat> Got it pulled up right here. I'll check that out later after the stream. Appreciate the recommendation. Definitely looking for some new stuff. My playlists are getting uh, worn out, man. Baez right center. I don't know about this one. I pronounced it right the first time. Let's go. I didn't try too hard. I just went with what I felt was right. Been listening to a lot of Guitar Hero 3 music lately. Yeah, there are some good ones on there. Have you seen this? Dude, your late 20s and early 30s are just literally like your childhood reimagined. I was playing Guitar Hero 3 the other day. Oh, I'm so old. So old. Mount Rushmore, Kalispell, Akinjide, Hayden, Boogie, Brandon Warren. Boom. Finally answered a question quickly. If the Vikings are able to beat the Seahawks in a non-fluky way, does your outlook on their season change? Also, thoughts on Pats and Mac Jones. Uh, first off, I haven't really watched a lot of the Patriots. They've just been on various times during Red Zone, so I haven't really watched them play specifically. Nor have I gone into their numbers or stats too deep. Um, I mean, my outlook for the beginning of the year was like, I felt... 10 and 7 was reasonable considering they upgraded the defense. Offense looks pretty legit. O line got a couple upgrades. Going 0 2, though, like this does have me feeling a lot worse about the team. I think I would stay at 10 and 7 if they could win their next two. If you can show you can beat good teams, Seattle and Cleveland back to back. Otherwise, I have to change my outlook. Because my outlook did not include them starting out 0-4, 0-3. I thought they would wipe the floor with Cincinnati. But they barely put on their uniforms correctly on that game. So <clears throat> Cincinnati was just more prepared. And then, uh, you know, it was a good game against the Cardinals. Just a terrible ending. Two and one. You know, I have thought about uh, that, Kyle. I think the roster is getting deep enough now to where you can think about trading away someone like Hampson or Brendan Rodgers. Oh, man. Almost. Guitar Hero stream win. I wish... Uh, Wish it was easier to do stuff with that copywritten music, cause I uh, I love Guitar Hero. Yeah, 
And he draws the walk. Should the Vikings draft a kicker? I don't know what their solution is. They've tried everything under the sun. I'm not sure. I'm not about to solve their problems. My whole idea is trade a first round pick for Justin Tucker. Then you probably are fine. Anything less than that, I'm not sure it works. If there was a new Super Mega Baseball series, who would be some of my newest additions? Uh, you'd be looking at a lot of the Texans players. Ooh, that one is hooking into... Uh, I thought it would go a bit deeper. But Dre Tatum, George Ingram, you got a few of the breakout stars from the Texans series, of course. I wonder what their next project's going to be because uh, EA bought the development studio, Metalhead. So I don't know what they're planning on doing. My hope is that EA is smart enough here to not get in the way. They have built something really good for Super Mega Baseball. All EA needs to do, in my opinion, throw some money at MLB, get the MLB license, put it into a Super Mega Baseball, and get out of the way. The gameplay formula is already very good. Ah! My worry, though, is that they're like, all right, make it work with Frostbite. And then we, like, take steps back in the gameplay department, and it's like, who cares if I have Shohei Otani in this game? It's worse now than the show and everything else. All right, we should probably look at a new pitcher soon. I don't have anybody warm yet. Let's get Rodgers out there. Taylor Rodgers after this inning for Gomber. No Marquise Walker in my Mount Rushmore. No captain the defense, uh, Marcus Calhoun. Well, I went with the more successful teams. And I had to pick four. It, it's hard to only pick four. I would be okay taking off Warren even to put on Marcus Calhoun. Super microtransaction baseball, man. You know whatever EA does is going to have some ultimate team microtransaction deal in it. EA bought out Codemasters. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm a fan of the Dirt games too. Not Dirt 5. There are some games that I just trust and I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to look into it. I'm just going to get it. Dirt 5 was one of those games. And I'm like, what the heck is this? Where's the career mode of Dirt 4? Where are the, the like, courses of Dirt 4? What is this game? It's fine for what Dirt 5 is, but I didn't want, like, a... Kind of a generic arcade racer. Runner goes. Nunez got him! All right, one, two, locked. Are we sure he didn't go around there? Ooh, beautiful pitch. The perfect curveball right there. I would try F1. I just have never really played it or watched it, but I think I might actually be into it if I gave it a shot. Because, uh, you know, I play a little Gran Turismo, so I've seen some of those tracks. It's very technical. I kind of like it. And I do enjoy, you know, a lot of that sim racing stuff and... Is the F1 my team really that good? Because I've seen a lot of people talk about it. Give me... 
Elijah Diori. I have never been to LA, no. Just in many video games. Well, maybe I have been technically in LA before. The closest I've been is uh, Disney World, or is it Disneyland over there? I think it's Disneyland. That's the closest I got to LA. All right, Elijah Diori trying to make the team as a backup catcher. Ever noticed how the Yard Goats uniforms kind of look like Kalispell's baseball uniforms would look like? Also, expectations for the Nintendo Direct today. Appreciate it, Jake. Member for 10 months. I love that they added this here on YouTube. That is a good point. Yes, it is almost the perfect blue and green. Very uh, on point there. A classic team, by the way, that also matches that. Uh, the Hartford Whalers hockey team. Check out the Hartford Whalers uh, uniforms. They look really good. Maybe I can uh, pull it up on stream here so you don't have to. Yeah, these are really slick. Can you imagine these, but like callus spelled out a little bit? It's loading in. I think. Um, why aren't you working? I don't know. It's kind of being weird. All right, I got a new image. Check that out. Those uniforms there are pretty cool. That's all I wanted to do. Got to make a Kalispell team in NFL Street. Yeah, so with those games, I don't know the limitations of, like, creation. I have to check them out. Because, like, you know, in all-pro football, unless I can figure out how to mod the game and do custom rosters, I'm limited to, like, 12 custom players. I don't know how games like Street work. I never played MLB Power Pro, so I looked at some gameplay. It looked kind of like a weird game. But a lot of people are kind of nostalgic about it, so it must have some good qualities. Wow, Trey. More like trading you away after that. <clears throat> yep, I hit a couple home runs. RJ, home run with Dom Nunez. You missed the second Dom Nunez home run I've ever hit. You also missed uh, Brandon Nimmo. I'm about to take out Tapia, though. We need to get some more backups out there. Tapia for Daza. Appreciate the super chat, though, uh, Decanator. I have NFL Street 1 and 3. I think it's 2 that people say is the best, but I want them all anyway. And 1 was, like, the only one I remember playing. So I have that. I think I'll record that for this weekend. I'll try to get that recorded tomorrow. Man... I feel like they've just been putting me to sleep this game. The 
Like, they're not throwing me enough stuff I want to hit. The game is going to take forever if I don't swing. Well, that's a good pitch. Finally. Can you refresh my memory, Robert? Appreciate becoming a member for the 10th month, Robert. Ooh, ahead of that one. What was the idea again? There's just too many things in my brain. I did not hear about the Rays and Blue Jays ordeal. What's up with that? Having trouble here, lefty lefty. Yeah, we've had some players perform well. Um, Severino looked pretty good. Austin Gomber wasn't bad. Brandon Nimmo hit a home run. Dom Nunez. But overall, it's kind of been more of a pitcher's duel here. I would imagine Cook is playing. I don't think there's any reason to think he wouldn't yet. I have never pitched a perfect game. No, I have pitched multiple no-hitters in the Twins franchise, but no perfect games. Oh, yes, Robert. Yes. That's what I thought it was. I had a little idea for Ryan Fitzpatrick in a video. So... Obviously, Fitz has played for so many teams and everything. And everybody loves Ryan Fitzpatrick. He is the, the backup quarterback. Flavor of the decade, I guess you could say. So I kind of had an idea about simulating a season of Madden with him on every team. 32 season Sims. See, like where he does the best, how many Super Bowls he ends up with. I kind of think that'd be fun. Also time-consuming, but fun. So I would just have to create a roster with him on every team, make him the starter, sim it with no injuries 32 times, track the stats, and maybe record any Super Bowl he ends up in. That was my idea. Would I consider trading Hampson for under 20-year-old B potential pitcher? Seems to be just uh, really... Yeah. Um, I think him and Rodgers are both in that discussion now of like, maybe we just trade them for a prospect and kind of try this all over again. I won't do it for a little while in game. Like, I'm going to give them a chance to prove themselves this year. But they got to prove it soon. And that is going to add another run. And Rogers kind of getting uh, shelled a bit in this inning. Not finding the zone. That was really well hit. I guess he's not being shelled yet. It's only one run. But yeah, I think that'd be a lot of fun, Robert. Just a little one-off. Something I can actually do in one video. <clears throat> How many Super Bowls do I think Fitz would win? What's my guess? All 32 teams as the starter the entire season. No! I think he'd win the Super Bowl with at least... I, I, I'd probably guess three wins. Because it's not just getting there. He has to win. You know what? I'm going to say two wins. Because... I don't think like he'd necessarily go like... 3-0. Uh, and oh, You know? I think he can make it to three or four Super Bowls and win two of them. That'd be my... Yes. Like, you'd have a chance with Kansas City, Tampa, Cleveland, probably. Finally. 
rough inning there. So I did do that big Kalispell movie, Lewis. Originally, I wanted to do like three of them. I don't know if I'll get to another one, but I did put out the big two-hour movie over the summer, yes. A little too aggressive. I wouldn't do one episode like with each team. Because that would be 32 videos. I'm looking to do it all in one. I might even work on it a little bit this weekend. Because it's the kind of like thing I could record while uh, watching football. Because it's just like, you know, kind of busy work. Just simulating, setting up a roster, letting it do its thing, and can kind of just watch football that way. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the scouting update, too. Just ready for a new way to add players. Let's go! McMahon right field. That one is out of here! Third solo shot of the game, and it's a 4-3. Diamondbacks lead now. If you haven't already done so, by the way, please leave a like. We're sitting at 88 likes right now. Can we get to like 115? There we go. Ty France. This is a pretty nice stance. I like open stances. Right, Michael. I would, you know. Here's what he did with the Lions. They went, you know, 3 and 14, and Fitz only had 22 touchdowns. Some teams might be more abbreviated because there's not much to talk about, but literally go through all 32 versions of the Sim. The Majestic Moose is a brand new member on the channel. Thank you very much. No! Don't, I tried to like tell the controller not to input the input, but it did. I hit that perfectly. But thank you for becoming a member. Member stream is this weekend, Saturday afternoon. Man, cover three, like the zones in general, man. When I was, uh, like, playing that fantasy franchise and whatnot, I just didn't feel like I could trust any of the zone coverages. Like, what happened? It's a sports game. It should never be getting worse. It's supposed to be a very iterative process. I guess I have to watch out for that slider. Didn't get it there. I don't know what's going to happen with Fuentes. He'll have a chance, but might end up being more of a bench player this year. Andrew is a new member. Another brand new member. For some reason, I don't think this thing on screen, the 149, updates properly. I might have to look into that. Wow, they called that strike three. Maybe like three pixels of the outside corner. That's a pitcher's pitch right there. That's a big one. Nicely done. I haven't been warming up my pitchers very well. Especially because Taylor just had a long inning and he's just a one inning guy most of the time. So I'm messing that up. But I appreciate all the new members. Thank you for that support. Jordan Alvarez is my best stance. I hit homers like nothing. Yeah, there are certain guys where it just clicks. I don't think I've seen... I've probably played against Alvarez once or twice in this game, but I've never hit with him, so I haven't seen the stance in-game. 
man. I gotta get Rogers out of here. Little mound visit here. I'll finish this at bat. Nice. Let's get Colome. Oh yeah, Albert Pujols stance. That's a good video game stance, I think. Alright, Colome was pretty good previous year in this series, so we brought him in. I don't know if it's time to panic yet with the Dolphins, but definitely a little uneasy, I'd say. You're, you're wondering about Tua and this year being so pivotal for him, and now I think he has the rib injury, so that's obviously not good. Want to get him back out there so you can see what he's all about. Are the Dolphins 0-2? Who are the 0-2 teams right now? No, they're 1-1. One one. I forgot who they played week one. The Dolphins have... Oh, they beat the Patriots and got shut out by the Bills. That's right. That's what it was. My bad. That's a division win, though. Also a division loss to uh, the Bills. Now you get the Raiders, and that doesn't seem like uh, the easiest matchup with how they beat the Ravens and the Steelers. But you know the NFL is weird? It would be a very NFL result for the Raiders to win those two games and then to kind of drop the ball against Miami. But, I mean, they couldn't score with Brissett. So that's... Uh, Beating the Raiders is a far cry from last week's performance. I'm not sure what the Cubs do. I feel like they're kind of tearing everything down and they're kind of at square one with the rebuild process. So, you know, how aggressive do you get in that situation in free agency? Probably not very. I'm not really sure what to expect from them. But it's also the NL Central, and the Brewers are a good team, but, you know, it's not such a top-heavy division that it's going to take you four or five years to compete. Yeah, it's hard to trust the Raiders. I don't know if anybody should trust the Raiders yet, but... You got to be impressed with how they've started the year. I didn't think they'd win either game. We brought that back from 0-2. Is the show better than Madden? Yes. The, the worst part about the show is that it's not football. Give me Carlos Santana. Your attention, please. For the Pats or Saints? Oh. I think the Patriots will draw up something tough defensively. I'm not sure how well they're going to contain Kamara if they use him a bit more in the passing game. But I think I'll take New England there. Worst part about the show is trade logic. Yep. Without a doubt. Cubs probably go after someone like Mark Canna. Maybe. Canna's actually a bit older. But like a more tier 2, tier 3 free agent. They might supplement the team like that, you know. 
You know, the CJ Crones of the world who signed for like a million dollars. That might be who the Cubs go after. I am really happy to see Teddy start to the year. I wish I could have seen more of those Broncos games. So that strike zone we know on the outside gets an extra like three to five inches. Am I right in being mad about that one? Not liking it. Turner, left field, hit deep, but it's lazy and it's caught. You know, in hindsight, keeping Crone over Duvall is probably a better move. It was kind of a borderline call. I just really wanted it to go my way. Let's pinch run here. Just in case I can hit one to the gap or something. Let's get uh, Sam Hilliard on the base paths. Good timing, just could not make contact, and here we go, one, two. Nope. Runner takes off this time, and he's safe. Base hit, ties the game. Daza 3-2. We got to get some more high contact hitters playing well on this team, and he's got a chance. Daza up the middle, and there goes Hilliard around third base. Daza comes through. It's a tie game. Wow. How about that? I saw somebody in the chat say steal second. So I'm like, yeah, let's steal second. And because I did that, we got the game tied up. And now Brandon Nimmo. Curveball drilled into left field, man. Perfect, perfect. Ah. Yeah, you like Daza's stance? Some of those I uh I like. Your attention, please. A little more movement to it, but sometimes it helps you time it up a little bit better. Tuki has played a little bit, and he could not find the strike zone very well, unfortunately. Now, I do need someone to play catcher. I want to say that Carlos Santana is still in the game, right? So he has catcher flexibility. Did I have him only as a pinch hitter? Oh, boy. Ooh. I only brought two catchers to spring training, right? Well, three, but they all played already. Ooh. Oh, boy. I seem to have gotten myself in a bit of a predicament. I have a plan. We have to pitch to contact. The ball needs to be put in play. That way, it never ends up in Hilliard's glove. So you just have to hit this 100, sometimes 101 mile per hour fastball. How good do you think uh, Sammy here can block a slider in the dirt? <laughs> Yeah, I'll play another game after this, yeah. 
Oh, it got away. <laughs> oh, man. Change up, left up. 36 speed. Do they test it here? They're going to. The throw home is right there, buddy. Safe. And it's a run home for the Diamondbacks. All right, they got their extra inning runner home. I have to do the same. I've watched a little Joe Ryan, and I know, I think it was last night he had a really good outing. I saw the the clip that they had tweeted out. It's with all his strikeouts. I've watched a couple of his starts. That seems to be working out so far. The Olympian, Joe Ryan. Now all they have to do is get Nelson Cruz back in free agency this year. It's foul at least. This is going to be a drop third strike. Oh. Imagine if this like leveled up Sammy's ability to actually play catcher. On the ground and we're going to make it out of this inning. All right, we have to get one at least. Preferably two, so we don't have to have Sam Hilliard play catcher again. I can't stand this first pitch slider they keep giving me. Oh, I can't believe I missed a game winner right there. Gave it to me. Man, they were begging for the game to end right there. I was just a little late, I think. I know it says good timing, but I don't want to be on the late side of good there. I, Kyler's playing out of his mind right now. I think he's played really well for the most part. When he is playing this as well as he is the first two weeks, he's indefensible. All right, I do want to have a productive at bat here. That's into center field. It'll take a perfect throw, and it is not. So we're tied again. Sam as a developmental catcher. We turn Hilliard into a catcher all of a sudden with like 97 speed. How do I feel about the Padres season? Um, France is going to reach, but uh, with the Padres, I mean, they're a good team. I just think that uh, probably not in that upper tier, and I don't know. I haven't paid too much attention lately to things. They're a talented team, but probably still underachieving a little bit. couple guys though I know for a while who weren't playing at a high level you had you know Blake Snell and Eric Hosmer two guys paid a lot of money to produce better wow a couple of two out singles I usually just hit X I, I don't do power or contact too often if it's like 2-0 and I'm like feeling really good about who I'm facing I might go with a power swing there if it's like 
uh, 2 and I just, like, I need to make contact. Like, there's a guy at second base. I want to advance him to third. Then I'm going contact. Just to kind of play a little defensively. Sam Hilliard. That's knocked down. Three straight two-out singles, and now a chance to win the game with one more. And it's Connor Joe who's going to pinch hit. What's a normal swing? X. Not making it a power swing or a contact swing. All right, Connor Joe. Oh, one. Nope. Two and one. What's A? Well, if you're on Xbox, it's A. An X would be your power swing on an Xbox. Left it up and I... No! That's the second one I've missed that would have won the game. Alright. What's it gonna be? Full count. Nowhere to put them. Connor Joe right center. Is it over? Connor Joe! No! Oh, man. It's a game of inches. Forget football. This is a game of inches right here. Your attention, please. Now <laughs> All right, Michael Givens is coming into the game now. Good try. <laughs> the first baseman, number 22, Michael De La Cruz. Yep, Sammy's second inning here at catcher. Look at him catch that fastball right there. I don't want it to move too much on him here. Oh boy. <laughs> As I throw a slider. And then he throws. That didn't look like the best throwing form there at all. So now it's like their bunt actually worked. Big time. I think I have to lay off the slider. It's just got too much break. I have to make the pitch easier to catch. So we have to stick with the fastball and the change up here. Saw a trade in MLB where the Astros trade Altuve for Jansen and Pollock. Yeah, like why? That's such a weird trade. He's trying to settle him down like, hey, I, I've been doing this catching thing a long time. I can tell when my pitcher is not feeling confident. <laughs> Come on, man. Ooh, Givens with the comeback. 3-2 Van Meter. Oh, what a pitch! Give me one more. Really? Who is it, Tex? A shortstop who can play uh, catcher almost in center. Who would that be? Trey Turner trying to win it. Ooh, I wanted to do it. Sam Hilliard is our best catcher. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, man. Yeah, he's 0 for 5. A couple of them hit pretty well, though. So in this situation, where I just want to get that extra inning runner home, I'm going to probably go contact swing. Or I, I was going to there one and two. With the count even, I probably won't. How do you not flinch at that? 
It's full. Kiner Falefa? Really? He can play catcher? Walked him. Really? Has he done that in real life? I tried to go around. You don't do that for me when, uh... It's when I didn't want to swing at. I'm going 0-2 here. He played catcher when uh, Trevino was hurt. Really? That's awesome. Wow. That was definitely on the early side of good with a contact swing. Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't at least foul that off. Nimmo right center. Make it left. Line drive and out number two. All right, it's up to Javi. Baez, a chance to win it. I think I missed that one just a little bit too. I'm on the wrong side of good there. The wrong side of perfect. I can't believe this is not done. This game is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, that would make him really valuable because he could be, like, super, super utility then. I'm not even sure. Can he play outfield? He can basically play it all. Wasn't it, uh, like, Brandon Inge or somebody? Who was it a few years ago that played every position in one game? On, like, the last day of the season? I might have to do some player lock after this because it's already been a couple hours and this game is going on and on. So I think I'll do some player lock games. Probably a good idea. Any standouts so far? Honestly, the pitching has been pretty good. Nimmo went yard. Nunez went yard. This inning won't end. This at bat, anyway. It was Ro it was Romine. Okay, Austin Romine did that. Yep, Geronimo is in spring training. He already had an at bat this game. I'm throwing the slider. He went after it. Hilliard. Oh, no. Sammy. I saw the runner take off to third base, and I'm like, that's not good. We have a mess now. That's probably going to tie the game, unless Trey has a cannon. Trey's throwing home. And it's not good enough. So here we go again. This has probably been the longest game I have played with the extra inning rule. I don't think I've seen the 12th. How is that not a strike today with your strike zone? Give me a break. That is not it. He swung at one outside. Base hit. That would be fun to see Javi play uh, center for his arm. But in Coors, we need the speed. That's plating probably two. Yeah, this is the inning we couldn't afford. Oh, wow. The 
You've gone 15. Not easy with the extra inning rule. Go ahead, take off. I have Sam Hilliard playing catcher. Ooh, with the infield in, we have that play. Up next to the diamond ball. I know in the Twins franchise, some of those minor league games I would play with those low-rated hitters. I played a couple that went like 18, 20 innings. And it's not fun at that point. Like, it's literally sad that they can't score. All right. Oberg on his own strikeout is going to make the play. You'll never see that again. So you'd score that, a uh, dropped third strike, and uh, a 1-3 put out for those of you keeping score. Thoughts on Jalen Hurts? Man, I wasn't sure if he could be the guy, but I knew I, I like wanted to see a season of him. And I feel like a lot of that now is being justified. I think he's done some good things. I know they didn't score a lot against San Francisco. How slow do you throw, sir? Whoa. I'm excited to see more of Jalen Hurts, though. Two-run homer ties the game. Base hit left field. That's going to the wall. He just tumbled into the outfield. Oh, boy. I'm going to need a second look after that one. Is this why you come to the channel for the weirdest spring training games ever? This is the first spring training game, man. Bang. Beautiful swing. I'm going to cut it off. I'm going to make a play. I'm going to save an extra base and make the team. Nope. Well, better look good doing it then. Play it off like nothing happened. All right. 7-6. That was the slowest pitch I've ever seen. And I watched Williams ask the Dio throw the ninth inning a couple times this year. That's the number one reason why I come to the channel. You never know what it's going to be. Why does this spring training game have a Game 7 of the World Series feel to it? Little League World Series. More like it. I'm in year eight with my Rockies franchise, and I have yet to win a World Series. Yeah, it won't be easy with this team at all. My bad. Through the right side. Wave him around and send him back. He got 40% of the way there, and I said no. You have no outs. Don't do it. Seeing this guy's change up? Ladies and gentlemen, you're at I should probably get speed over at third, too, in case of a shallow sacrifice. I think uh, Welker here with 69 Thank speed. You. If Hampson wins the game on this at-bat, he doesn't get traded. That's usually how it works. We have to win the game. 
He can't tie it. He has to win the game. I'm in year three of an Orioles franchise, and all I will say is Adley Rushman is the greatest player to ever live. Love it. Star catcher. He didn't win it. I will have to, Peyton. I want to play uh, revamped. Really want to. Sammy Hilliard, the catcher. Oh, pitch out. They're intentionally walking him. I have a question. Now, I get that you can just, you know, intentionally walk a guy. But has anybody since that rule became a thing done the traditional intentional walk, throwing it outside four times to buy time for the bullpen? Because that could still be useful if you're just warming somebody up. Just wondering. What happened to my setup? I moved. My setup's way better now. 3-0. Going to the Texans game. Have fun, Big Tex. Yeah. Hope it's a good one tonight. Primetime games have been unbelievable this year. That's what mound visits are for. But you double them up. I'm in year three of a Pirates rebuild, and Jose Barrios says my ace is the best decision I ever made. You like that curveball, don't you? Two down. Used to have a blue background. What blue background? Like a futuristic LED look? Oh, it, it, too much light. I need to get some blackout curtains so I can use that stuff more during the day. I have, uh, you know, I can turn it on but I'm not going to bother right now. Who do we give this chance to, everybody? Zach Veen? Brendan Rodgers? Which first-round pick do you want to see? The one that would be more fun or the one that's more practical to win the game? That was a bad pop-out. That was one of my worst swings of the day. I'm not happy about it. All right, first three people said Veen. Your attention, please. Make it four. The Tex, you're back. Are you still going to the game, or are you just going in a little bit? Zach Veen. It takes a hit. Runners at the corners. Two down. I, it, this change up. Man, that yeah, Rams look good, man. You should have, uh, it probably were excited about them, but there was a lot of reasons to be. 0-2. Oh, gotcha. That was his slowest one yet. How do I hit that? I'm glad you're enjoying it, Jacob. In case you're wondering if it's always like this. Chat, is it always like this here? No! Man, I wanted to win that game. It took like two hours. That was the longest game of the show I played this year, and I lose it. It's spring training. I'm still disappointed. Really not liking the way my Seahawks are looking? Just throw it to DK and lock it. Let Ross, Russ cook. Striking out to end the game? Yep. <laughs> Always heartbreaking. That's a tough way for it to end. For sure. But we're not done. We aren't finished. For the victorious... Thankfully, I sim in this series. 
Speaking of Sim, Sims 2 on PS2. My wife loves the Sims games, so. Couple of off days now, and uh, what do you say we get? Ooh. See, player lock is actually going to be tough because they substitute so much. How about a quick counts game? Would you guys be down with that? A quick count game? That would save a little bit of time, but allow us to get a little more gameplay. That was the first one. Yeah. That we played more than a full game. Let's get a quick count game in. <clears throat> I think he's got a pretty good shot to turn his career around there. They got a good offense. They have a good coach. I'm worried about the O-line. Um, but, uh, you know, he's out of that New York spotlight now. He's got Joe Brady as his offensive coordinator instead of Adam Gase, which is like, wow, what an upgrade. And it looks like he's playing okay. I haven't been able to watch, you know, more than the Vikings, really. I watch Red Zone and the Vikings in prime time. So if your team hasn't been in prime time yet, I probably haven't gotten a good uh, look at them quite yet. I wish that uh, Game Pass were better because there's a lot I would like to see. But I have to wait for that, I guess. So I'm about to do nothing for like the first three innings here. I'm not hitting Walker Bueller. I have a new mic. Yep. This is a new mic, well overdue. Uh, Ben, I don't know how you missed the longest spring training game of my life, but that's what you just missed. It was a very long game, very fun game. A lot of action. And a Minnesota Vikings-esque finish. Yeah, one game. I played one spring training game. Brandon Nimmo. I couldn't hit Zach Gallen. I don't think I'll hit Walker Bueller. I should have simmed and faced somebody else. Why can't I face Alex Cobb? You know, that'd be a better matchup for me. Ooh. Towering fly ball deep to right field, and it's not going to leave, but it was fun to watch. Thoughts on my Chiefs? They're the same team, man. Same team. Explosive on offense, aggressive on defense, and they're going to win at least 12 games, I feel. You know, they put on a show every week. I will say one guy I want to see more of, and I'm excited to see how it plays out this year, is Jarek McKinnon. I'm a Viking fan. I remember McKinnon when he was drafted. He's a really good playmaker. Now, he dealt with injuries two years in San Francisco, but came back last year and still had the explosiveness, which I did not think he would. And honestly, after CEH, he's the guy you want there. And he's the home run hitter they have in the backfield. Like CEH, Daryl Williams, they're not going to, you know, none of those guys are going to hit the big plays all that often. But McKinnon can. I really want to see McKinnon's role increase in that offense. More of like a Kareem Hunt workload. That'd be fantastic. But the Browns run the ball a lot more. Get McKinnon, uh, you know, five carries and four targets a game for me. That's all I want. Yeah, any game against the Dodgers is going to suck. Oh, Walker Bueller. Got that out of the way. Who's next? Uh, I don't know why I checked my watch. Like, the answer's there. Julio Urias. Uh, all right, we'll deal with that. All right, who's next? Clayton Kershaw. Really? All right. 
Max Scherzer. What do you mean? When's Tony Gonsolin? When's the random game that David Price starts as an opener? He's done that a couple times this year. Yeah, they'll get DeGrom, and then I'll just put the controller down and walk away. Winston living up to his potential in New Orleans. I think it's a, a, a good chance, you know, like Darnold going to Carolina. I think that it's kind of an optimal landing spot. I could see him doing it. And at least being more like an average starter who gives you the occasional above average game. My main concern there is that the receiving core isn't deep and they're missing Michael Thomas. I think it's going to take a little while before that offense really looks comfortable. You had Jameis at his best in week one. And then, you know, the Saints didn't play too well in week two against Carolina. But in that offense, yeah, I, I want to see it. That's not his potential. 30 and 30 is not what's supposed to happen. Can you believe that Jameis Winston put together the most Madden season ever? 5,000 yards, 30 touchdown passes, 30 interceptions. There's at least 10 of you that have done that in Madden. And there's only one human that's done it in real life, and that's Jameis Winston. He is one of a kind. Hey, Kane, sorry about that missed kick. I know the same feeling. The Chargers missed those kicks, too. You know what? The Vikings and Chargers are actually the same team. Appreciate the super chat, Caleb. Hope you're enjoying your Chargers this year. Couldn't get it done against Cowboys last week, but I think they'll be a uh, playoff team. Mine would be 30 touchdowns and 50 interceptions. At some point, don't you just, like, try to convince yourself to start running the football? Like, just line up in the I formation and run fullback lead. You can hear the skull chant on TV, Mike. Like, the Viking fans were definitely there. The Chargers have been cursed, but I mean, they did such a good job reconstructing that old line. A great job identifying Herbert and proving a lot of people like me wrong that thought they should have gone Tua and that Herbert wasn't all that good. But he is so much better than the player I thought he was. What series would you want to relive from the start? The first Vikings franchise, obviously, would be a lot of fun. That was obviously really special. Um, UTSA, that was another one that I didn't get deep enough into, but it was a really fun ride for my first NCAA series, first dynasty. Oh, that was two strikes. Okay. This is a quick counts game, by the way, because the first game was uh, not quick counts. It was... The longest game I think I've played here in the show. I do have to revisit NFL Tour. It's been a while. You know, I saw that ball apex and I'm like, that's a strike. But it was too late. That's okay. It was just the pitcher spot. I don't think Andrew Heaney is doing anything against Walker Bueller. I do, Andrew. Yeah, that was so cool. 
That was a very cool uh, Roadrunners team. A lot of cool guys. Trey through face hit. Talent wise, I honestly think that McKenzie and Warren were extremely similar. Um, Warren, obviously, probably had a more loaded team around him. Yeah, I could revisit Blitz too, but the next one I want to play is Street. NFL Street. They have Brent Rooker from the Twins. I believe Brent Rooker, at least he did before, but uh, I think he leads AAA, or at least one of the leagues in home runs this year. Can we find the zone? Just throw it right there, right down the pipe. Thank you. You know what? I'm greedy. Get out of here! Plus, Andy missed the season. Broken tailbone. I'm watching that one again. I will get us some more Tuki Toussaint gameplay here. We just had two days of rest, so everybody's going to be good to go. Three scoreless. Yeah, that challenge mode, I think, is what I want to check out. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. How long does it take to make a normal video? Um, what's considered a normal video? Like, here in the Rockies? Um, probably about, on average, I'd say around four hours for one of these. Plus, like, rendering time and thumbnail and getting the title and everything set up. Favorite MLB player not on the Twins. Man. Hmm. Not on the twins. That might take me a minute. I'm trying to mentally go through every team to see who would make the cut. I do really like Mookie Betts. I think he's a very fun player to watch. Can I say Nelson Cruz now that he's on the Rays? Yeah, Shohei. I mean, the Shohei is the one I go out of my way to watch more often. Charlie's one of my favorites, too, because, like, I've watched a lot of Rockies games over the past couple of years. I talk about this a lot. Like, I, I play, like, fantasy baseball, and, you know, when the West Coast games come on, I like to watch them. So, the whole NL West really is kind of the second most watched for me outside of the Twins. A lot of Giants games, Padres. Let's get Toussaint out there. Connor Joe. Oh, we love Connor Joe. Absolutely. You got that. One pitch, one out for Tuki Toussaint. Yeah. The Mount Rushmore of Kane's NFL series is just four Boogie Turners. It's Boogie Turner Kalispell, Boogie Turner with the Broncos. Now imagine how good he was in high school.
I'm still early on that? having a lot of trouble here hitting we're in the fifth inning and no one's scoring now Number three. Nope. I think that it's not that golf is that bad it's more like it's the same conversation I think with cousins it's like all right what is he really worth contract wise what does it have to be at for you to not be you know kind of hand tied by uh, that contract and what else you can do with your roster and so because basically all these quarterbacks end up getting paid huge money you end up with uh, a few guys who don't justify it as much and you think like they should make 10 15 less but that tier doesn't really exist for them the $20 million a year guys are the one-year wonders like Case Keenum. There is no, like, middle-class franchise quarterback contract. Actually, there is. It's Tom Brady's. And it's because he's willing to take less. Wow. Wow. Toussaint will do that at times. Um, I don't really have any plans for 2K, no. I haven't picked it up. Although I did uh, pick up a game the same day it came out. WarioWare. WarioWare Inc. on the Game Boy Advance is one of my favorite uh, Game Boy Advance games. And I really like the WarioWare on Switch. I think they did a good job with it. Big fan of that game. CPU is pretty bad in that game, John. Made the gameplay hard to uh, get quite right. It was kind of a frustrating game. I had fun with uh, like my team in there, but like if you go back and watch that Super Bowl we had against the Packers, like they were running I formation in the two minute drill, like really weird stuff, and the CPU couldn't run. I should start pinch hitting a bit more. Maybe actually hitting. Three and two to Trey Turner. Ooh, that one smoked. Left center, deep, and it's off the wall. Trey into second. Couple of perfect swings today. See if we can bring him home now. I will sub out Tapia. We know him well enough, and this is lefty lefty anyway. So let's go with. How about we really switch things up here? Casey Golden. Why didn't they go David Geronimo? I didn't see his name until late. All right, now let's go David Geronimo. All righty. Really excited about Geronimo. 
He had a warning track fly out in the first game. It wasn't even the best contact. And it went to the warning track. That one's perfect. Send Trey home. Geronimo off the show sign. 445. David Geronimo with a spring training blast. Absolute nuke. Wow. Slider. Right over the middle. David Geronimo says, it's time. Bring me up to the show this year. Wow. Baez. Oh, it's knocked down and Baez will reach. Put him on the roster. He's the real deal. That's the main thing Mark pointed out. His defense is a concern. It's just kind of the weakness we have to deal with. Like, he's going to be a fun player offensively, but his defense is not good right now. And this is uh, an outfield where you don't want fielding mistakes and you want speed out there. And he has a little bit of speed, but he's not going to uh, offer as much as some other players. But his Batman. No doubts about what he can do as a hitter. I should pinch hit more of this game. That was such a Your sweet swing. Didn't I warm somebody up? I guess not. I guess we'll put in Chichi Gonzalez. If I didn't just put him in there, I was going to be stuck with somebody as a three inning minimum pitcher. So I'll actually have to warm him up here. So he's like Joe Adele. He sucks at defense, but he can hit. How's Joe Adele coming along? I remember checking some stats lately, and he was tearing it up at AAA this year. I know last year when he got called up, you know, it wasn't hitting too hot. Is he up with the Angels yet? Just watching Chi Chi Gonzalez warm up. I don't have anything interesting to add to that. It's just warm up pitches. Right down the middle. Very hittable. Hopefully, manage this inning now. Oh! Could not make the catch cleanly. Spring training's been fun. You just missed uh, a couple minutes ago. David Geronimo hitting a two-run homer to put us in front. Mookie Betts to right center. And got it. Thoughts on Case Keenum. Was surprised to see Minnesota let him go. I thought he could have been great in the right system. Yeah, a lot of things about that. It was a one-year situation for him. They were losing their offensive coordinator. And uh, they wanted to get back to the NFC Championship and wanted more of a sure way to get there and decided to go with Cousins. I do wonder the alternate reality where they sign Keenum and how that goes and what they do with the extra money.
but I understand why they did it. Most overrated player ever, and why is it Luke Ir Irvin? Y'all don't like Luke Irvin. Did I throw that many picks with him? That was late. Kenley Jansen. Nice uh, inning or uh, at bat there. Let's get some more guys off the bench. Um, Let's go Ryan Vallade, all right? He's kind of a utility infielder. Low 70s overall guy at AAA. Probably won't make the team this year, but he's not too far away. That's a walk. Greetings from Germany. Glad you can make it. Is it Sid? I actually want a pinch hit here. I want Diori. With this one, two count. We turned on it in the air. Out oh, number two. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, Peyton was at the end of his career there in Indy. They didn't have a, a great team, and you had a chance to draft Andrew Luck. Like, it was absolutely the right move for both sides of that. Let's go, Zach Bean. Pinch hitting for the Rockies. Number 13. Definitely Brady over Peyton if I had one game. Also, it matters if it's the regular season or the playoffs. But I'm probably going Brady either way. Ooh, I feel like that was perfect right there. There you go. A single off Jansen for Zach Veen. I was able to time up a lot of those inside pitches, and that's been my issue in this game for a while, but I've worked on that. No. I didn't watch Montana or Young. I'm not, uh, I didn't watch football in that era. I'm getting old, but not that old. How do you get better at timing the inside pitches? Uh, just kind of mentally preparing for the pitch earlier than I was. Like, the reason I was so late on those inside pitches is because I just... It, it's hard to explain, but like, when you start to kind of time up when the right time to swing is, I just had to adjust that a bit earlier to work with the pitcher's wind up a little bit more. So I'm already getting ready as he's winding up. So I can pick up the ball as soon as I can. Because, like, the thing you also have to keep in your mind, this little geometry here, is, you know, the ball is going to cross the plate, obviously, and be a ball or a strike. But you don't want to swing when it's at the plate right here. 
you want, especially an inside pitch, if you want to make good contact, you got to swing when it's out here. You got to swing earlier. And that means you have to swing sooner, further away from the plate. When is the next Seattle series? You should move them. Um, I don't know yet. I, I imagine this weekend I'll have one. It's just not the next video I'm working on. Ah, David Geronimo, maybe, Tyler. He just hit an absolute missile, the, the show sign in left center a little bit ago. Full count. And the thing is, too, is you should be determining when a pitch is hittable or not or if you're going to swing very, very quickly when the ball leaves the pitcher's hand. You don't actually, you shouldn't be sitting there, like, waiting and deciding. You decide almost right away if you're going to swing or not. Ooh, we have him up again with the bases loaded here. I'm playing with quick count, so it's a one-two count. Bruce Dar Gratterall. Exactly, RG. And, and some of those pitches, you know, you do actually have to track a little bit. Anything in the 70s for miles per hour, yeah. You will actually physically notice you waiting longer and taking longer to decide. But on a fastball, it's got to be right there. Like right there, 100 miles an hour. You got to know as soon as that ball is leaving his hand that you're swinging. So you got to be mentally like timing it up with your player's uh, initial movement, with the wind up of the pitcher, preparing as early as you can. All right. Full count. Ah. Kind of got crossed up there a little bit. He's throwing heat. Would I move the Seahawks in the offseason? I probably won't move them in that one. Your attention, please. Not right now, anyway. Thank you for the super chats. Maybe if we got a lot deeper into it. But they haven't done much with the relocation, so it's like not all that interesting. There's nothing new there. Yeah, the way he uh, crowds the plate there is a little weird to get used to, for sure. He's got an inconvenient stance in a way, but I just get used to it. And clearly, I've been hitting with him. Wow, that is going to be off the pole. Or miss by a foot and a half. Rodriguez, I'm kind of thinking, regresses a little bit this season. We'll see. Plan is to start him off as a long relief guy. How do you become a member? There should be next to the subscribe button a join button. And that is, uh, will take you to a thing where it's $5 a month to be a member. Helps support me. I do this full time as a creator. Totally optional. Don't have to do it. But if you want to, that join button will take you there. One of the perks to being a member is uh, the channel member live stream I'll be doing on Saturday. I imagine it'll be a lot like this one, but I'll be talking more about some plans for the channel and what I want to do over the next month. And I'll capture some more uh, gameplay during it. Nicely done. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Hitting for the yep, I play Hall of Fame everything here. It's just the, uh, the difficulty that feels good to me. Just the total preference thing. If you think that All-Star gives you the right difficulty and matches your skill level, play All-Star. Nothing wrong with that. When I got back into the show this year, I started playing on All-Star until I felt like I could move up to Hall of Fame again. Because I took a year off of playing. Yeah. 
What's the best future name for the Washington football team? Uh, my favorite mock-up so far, I think, has been, what, the Red Hawks? Is that the one that that's really cool? I kind of like Washington football team. It's kind of grown on me. Red Wolves. Maybe it was that one that I liked. No, I don't even remember. But I think I saw like a jersey mock-up or a logo and it was like, yep, that's the one. I'm surprised they've gone two seasons with uh, the temporary name. Glad you've been having fun, David. I mean, the show is a lot of fun. If you like, you know, simulation, franchise... There's a lot I'd like to see them add to the mode feature-wise and to improve some logic, but just on the field, man, you can't beat it. So fun, striking out, but it is a very fun game. The first baseman, number 23, Ty France. This is Ty France again. Three and one here in the eighth inning. It's three nothing. I think I was a little late. Yeah. I feel like I've had to be so patient today. Where are the pitchers who just attacked the zone? I'm not finding those guys. <clears throat> is it the youtube membership or twitch well we're on youtube it's just uh the membership uh like a channel member deal it's similar to being a twitch sub but obviously just here on youtube all right i want something to swing at Elijah Diori with the bases juiced. Man, I, I just, it's the same story as the Diamondbacks game. I have to be so patient. I'm getting over aggressive on stuff I shouldn't swing at. That was a good pitch. I want to give this opportunity to Todd Sinegi. Your attention, please. Base hitting for Colorado. Number 49, Todd Sinegi. Base is juiced. Ooh, stay foul. Foul tip. I was ahead of it, though. If that ball got put in play, it wasn't going anywhere anyway. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. Now, my favorite bad player in any sport? Like my favorite player who hits 203 and five homers a year? Man, we are just putting this lineup away. Brent Rooker. Ooh, left center. Can I cut it off with Trey? Yeah, 99 speed does that. He wants second. What, he got it? 
pitcher. What do you mean he's safe? Oh, I love Joe Webb. I thought we had him. I wasn't even going to watch. I thought it was disrespectful. He was even trying. Uh-oh. Base hit, tie. Not tie game. One run. What about Gardner Minshew? Like my favorite backup? We never catch anybody stealing here. Ooh. He did it again. That is a drive by Turner out to left field, but it's not actually gone or anything cool. Um, Casey Golden over to third. Man. I'm trying to think of a good answer. I like this pitcher. He's just attacking the zone. I feel like that was a good time swing. But Geronimo strikes out, and now we're going to see if Rodgers can pick up the uh, save here. This is supposed to be his role this season. Yeah, I can't think of a great answer. Like, my favorite obscure player or backup right now. trying to think of guys that I like gravitate towards and like fantasy because sometimes that gets me on board with them when they come through I know Darren Fells has been that way a couple times big tight end week one though probably going to get me to eventually play uh Jawan Johnson again, tight end for the Saints. Now back, second All right, I got like a random player I like on the, the Giants, San Francisco, Mauricio Dubon. Is that a good answer? I also like Austin Slater. Williams asked the Dio for the Twins. I mean, it's like the ultimate. That's a base hit. So a couple base runners here in the ninth for LA. The winning run is at the plate. Will Smith. 3-2. Big curveball gets him, and the Rockies win it 3-1. There you go. Austin Nola. Ooh, I like Austin Nola. A couple uh, years ago in fantasy, man, when he was with the Mariners. Cheap catcher with pop. Came through for me a couple times. 
Fantasy Baseball 2, an another guy who always seemed to come through for me that uh, won me some money is uh, Evan Longoria. The Giants kind of became one of my teams because a couple years ago their offense was just bad. But, you know, looking at stats and stuff, like, they have a bunch of guys that hit lefties really well. And, um, I've had a lot of success playing with playing the, the Giants. That's where you get Austin Slater and Darren Ruff and Evan Longoria with Buster Posey. Maybe a little Mauricio Dubon. The ball game this afternoon for the victorious Rockies. Three runs, five hits, no errors. Brandon Drury, print pinch hit legend. Jose Peraza, Jose Iglesias, Pac Man Jones. Oh, man. Pac Man Jones. I'm sure I'll see him in one of these games I pop in soon. That was good. I'm feeling pretty good about this team, though. I think we're going to have a good squad this year, and I'll have to get some more gameplay. I might do another public stream like this. We'll see. I'm going to do the member stream where I get some more gameplay. I'll have to probably get some player lock games on my own. And if that's good enough, then that's good enough. We'll see. Rugnet Odor. <laughs> Home run or strikeout. That's all you get. All right, everybody, I think that is going to do it for today's stream. That was really fun. And I have uh, some more gameplay to get here over the next few days. And I want to get us on to U3 very soon. And just keep it going here with Colorado. This is a fun team. And I love what we did this offseason. I think we can be really good. We just have to go prove it now. Yep, that's going to be it for me today. Going to get some dinner and then watch some Thursday night football. And then uh, watch more old PS2 videos of other games. Had some recommendations today. Geronimo on the opening day roster. I think that we're getting closer to that being a reality. I appreciate that, Ryan. Thank you. Yeah, if you want more content, by the way, if you want more of just anything I post, I mean, on the second channel, make sure you're subscribed there. But hey, if you watch this video right here, it will take you right into Thursday Night Football. It'll bridge the gap for you, okay? So let me uh, grab the link quick. That's the new episode of the little Vikings thing I have going on the second channel. It's episode two. Check it out. I'll see you all later. Have a great rest of your night, and I'll see you soon.